Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna try and do my folks in a palm log I picked up off the street. After the hurricane, there was all kinds of wood hanging around. I'm not sure if palm trees are the best thing to use, but I picked this up uh, off a street near me. I thought, well, I'm big enough, I can, and small enough, I can probably handle that. Wrong. <laughs> I pulled my SUV over, opened the back catch, and got it to the SUV, but I couldn't get it up inside the... <laughs> so a guy was coming down the street, big guy. I says, hey, how's your back? And he goes, well, I... two motorcycle wrecks, and uh, my back's not the best. I says, oh, all right. So he set down what he was carrying, and he saw what I wanted. So uh, he pretty much put the thing in there by himself. I wasn't a lot of help. And these palm trees have nice little needles inside that bark. And I slammed two of them in my thumb. And uh, so anyway, I'm not sure if I should be carbon palm wood or not, but I had the thing, so here we go. Yeah. I got a, next I have a pine log, about two foot diameter, and um, that's going to be my next chainsaw sculpture. This is number three. I did the uh, oh, Easter Island statue and then I did a finger that's right behind me there. I don't know if you can see it's still on the ground. Uh, but I had about four feet of that left so I carved that up. And this one is getting done now. And I ended up getting uh, smaller. I had that steel saw but uh, the nose is pretty thick on that. They make a carving chainsaw, which anybody watching this wants to get me a Christmas present, that would be awesome. Uh, it's got a real fine point on it, and all, all the videos I watch, the guys are, that's what they're using. It's hard to get any detail with these bigger ones. And I have used uh, Dremel when on this one when I get it so close. This, but this uh, palm wood is very, uh, how do you say, hairy grain. And so it's not, this I'm gonna paint, I think, gray to try and make it look like stone or something. It's supposed to be my mom and dad, but it doesn't really look like them. <laughs> But I'm having fun. So here I'm using that uh, grinder with a chainsaw blade. A lot of guys don't like that, but I see a lot of them use it. I just got to hang on to it like a rattlesnake. So here comes a little sound bit of the chainsaw. And I just have to wear the music up there. So you do those for a few hours. And and uh, just order to crap because it's uh, kind of dangerous. The saw could kick back, and I really, I'm here alone, so I don't want to be laying in my backyard with a chainsaw stuck in my leg. So I'm going to get some chaps and uh, I may treat myself to that sculpting saw. It's made by steel and it's got a real pointy blade on it. Get some nice detail. I'm really liking this chainsaw sculpture stuff. I don't know. I'll keep painting too, but uh, this I can do outdoors and it's just a lot of fun. 
I probably ended up with about six hours in this thing, I guess, all said and done. But it's not done. I got, uh, I was going to work on it today, but it's kind of gray. But this is December. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry, you folks up north. Anyway, here comes the end, and my favorite girl is going to help me on it. Yeah, Kitty, what are you doing? Cover that up. Kitty. Cover it up. Look at your feet. Okay, here's the palm sculpture, which is not finished. It's quite different carving. It's supposed to be mom and dad, but it doesn't really look like them. <laughs> What are you doing? Kitty, now. Oops. Kitty, I'm recording. Oh, that cat. Alright, so this is a uh, palm tree sculpture. Not finished. I was going to work on it today, but it's kind of a gray day. And... You got anything to say for yourself? Kitty. Cover that up. Oops, sorry folks. You shouldn't have seen that. Alright, so that's uh my third chainsaw sculpture. <coughs> Starring Kitty. Yeah. Look at your feet. All right, howdy Huey, signing off.